All right, I've seen a lot of guys asking how to um, bed trap solid and wax dirt and peat moss. So I thought I'd do a quick video here of how I do it, maybe help out some of the newer guys. Um, it's not hard once you get onto it, but admittedly it is a pain until you learn it. What I do is you can see I've got my trap bed dug right here ready to go. The big thing is keep your beds tight. I'm using a 550 and you can see it just fits in that bed. So dig your beds tight, dig them just a touch deeper than what you need to. And then the next thing I do is you can use a dirt hole punch, or in this case, I just use my trowel. And right in the center of the bed, I dig down and dig a hollow spot out underneath the trap for the stake, in this case, chain stake. And that does two things, gives me a place to anchor the trap, gives water a place to go. And the other thing it does with my traps anyways is being their center swiveled that gives that center swivel a place to rest so the traps not rocking on that so i'll go ahead and get this thing staked in and we'll go from there and it is muddy out here today we had rain last night it's supposed to rain more All right, so now you can see I got a big hole there for the chain to lay down in, and that trap is only resting on the jaw, the frame, the dog, where the dog connects, and on both levers, and that trap is already super tight. What I do next is you can, as um, or just a little bit of dirt so all my wax dirt doesn't run down in there in that hole. Is just take a little wax dirt and you don't need much a handful will do just around the edge just enough to create a barrier between it and the natural dirt if i can get that swivel to cooperate with me and i mean press on that thing get it in there tight And then if you want, I usually do, just to be safe, I sprinkle a little bit of salt, calcium chloride, just around the edge to keep the levers from freezing down so moisture would get in. And th again, this is the same process I use whether I'm doing wax dirt or peat moss. Works equally well for both of them. I like wax paper pan covers. I get hamburger patty papers. I think they're five by five. They work for most of my traps. I have to tear them down a little bit smaller for 450s or stuff like that. Get that thing tucked down in there and just give her a covering. Now, what I do next is sprinkle it around, work it around till it's level the whole way around or a little bit of a ridge around there, expose that pan. So you know where that pan's at? I take my hands in a shape like that and put the pan right in the center and just roll in. And I mean, pack that dirt as hard as you can. And that's packing it outside the jaws, inside the jaws and everywhere. I mean, put your whole body weight into it. I'll get down with my fists and push with my fists, get that dirt packed tight. And I'll just brush a little bit back over the pan. And for this set, I'm going to blend it a little bit more. I usually do with the natural dirt. I'm not going to use natural dirt to blend this. I'll use leaves and sticks and weeds, stuff like that. But that's really all there is to it. I mean, I do the same method for peat moss and wax dirt. Have that hollow underneath the trap so your trap's not rocking on the center of the frame have it so that center of the frame's hovering in midair and it's only resting on the outside edges of the trap that way it's not rocking lean into it hard when you're packing the dirt in and you'll get them set bedded solid every time
um, hope this helps some of you guys out.